guys I also wanted to do just a little quick update here before I head on out this is the current look of the jade and it's been doing good in here it's yeah it's doing good it's rooted there's lots of new growth here so this is hanging out right where the register is so I really love that it's still doing great but the original basket that I made for the restaurant had its time so I definitely want to go ahead and redo it here kind of fill it up so it's just been living here kind of where the entryway is right over here um, but I'm definitely excited to go ahead and fill this space uh, with tons of new plants here with the same arrangements my mom want to keep them so I'm gonna go ahead and do that there's 13 tables here along with the bar here that I want to go ahead and redo the plants so stay tuned for that but before I go ahead and do some planting, I'm gonna go ahead and have some breakfast here. So this is my Take Me Back to Belgium waffles. It is one of my favorite breakfast items on the menu, but then again, I made the menu, so everything is my favorite. You guys are enjoying uh, me being in the restaurant and doing a planting with Julian episode for it. I think that's really cool because it's two things I'm very passionate about. One, I'm very passionate about my restaurant, and two, I'm very passionate about plants. So to do this project for today is uh, really fun for me. So quick bite, and then we're gonna head to the nursery. So I am here at a star nursery, a location I've never visited before because it is really up north. But I had to do a random delivery for our restaurant because I was the only one there. Um, and this location is actually one mile from my delivery where I had to drop off the food for our, our restaurant delivery. So I'm gonna go ahead and check out to see what they have in stock here. I know I definitely wanna pick up a bag of uh, succulent cactus soil mix. And then I want to see what kind of succulents they have. And just in general, I haven't been to this location before. So it will be super interesting to check out this. Hi, how are you? Um, it'll be super interesting to check out the house plants. So let's go ahead and see what they have. This location is very small. But I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera and we can check out the house plants. All right, so here is the house plant section. And ooh, this is a really cool, interesting Dracaena Warnecki. I love that anything interesting and I know I'm supposed to be shopping for the restaurant right now but I couldn't help myself because I haven't never been to this location before I have this one it's so cool so we have some Brazilian philodendrons and there's a small little sale but nothing too crazy here um, and I think I have all of these plants here this is a really cool one I have this one though um, yeah I have all of these variations super cool to see though anything else that I need to pick up from my collection even though if I'm not supposed to be shopping for me Hartley philodendron I have this this one is really dark in color that's so pretty and that is about it I see some pepperomias vertebrata yeah, I'm good, thank you. And look at this Song of India Dracaena. Ooh, this one is so stunning. Look at that. Okay, guys, so that was a quick little tour of the house plant section. Here we are, all the way up in North Las Vegas, in the middle of nowhere. Let's go ahead and find their cactus inside. All right, so here is the outside section. Fairly big, but I'm looking for the succulents, so let's go ahead and figure out where they are. So I'm here at the cactus and succulent section. I figured there wasn't going to be a lot in stock. I don't know because this place is so far up north. But let's go ahead and see what they have here. There's the moon cactus that my mom got me. Don't like seeing these fake flowers glued on them. Some golden barrels. But I am looking for succulents for our restaurant. So, let's see what they have. They have colanchos, some echeverias up here. And then this is what I came to look for. So, let me go ahead and pick up a bunch of these. It's currently what they have in stock here. Not a lot of hanging plants, um, but I definitely want a bunch of these babies. And they go for $1.98. Then I might want to get a few of these bigger pieces. I'm not sure. So let me go ahead and figure out what and how much I need. Okay, so I'm looking for 
things that are going to be on the hardier side and not freak out in the current planter that my mom wants to keep those jars i'm thinking something like this is going to work good nothing that's going to get too leggy trying to reach for the sun um let's see what else we can find i also see some hawarthias which is super cute oh i see variegated bear paw i love them I'm thinking echeverias though are gonna do really good Nothing too tall and leggy because I don't want them reaching out of the planter searching for sun here. So, let's see what else I can find. The sun is uh, getting up there. It's definitely getting hot here. And I have long pants. I still have my church clothes on. This one has a little baby. Check that out. Hmm. Maybe. Let's see what I have. Hmm. To be determined. Do you still want a little bit of character in the planters? But echeverias are kind of something I'm going towards. Um, I can even fill them up with jade from my tree back in Santa Monica if I wanted to. But I'm trying to get this project done today, guys. Let's see. Colanchos are not going to be good because they get really leggy. I don't know. Maybe something like this. What do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Hmm. Any more echeverias? Hmm. This one is a good one too. Alright guys, to be Hey guys, so I'm back home at my mom's place in the kitchen. So there's a lot of lighting coming this way, so I hope you guys can see me. I have all of the vases that have been living in our restaurant for the last 14 months that I'm going to go ahead and take apart. But if you can see really closely up here, it doesn't look good. There's tons of growth here, algae and just bacteria, a lot of dead succulents in here. So what I'm gonna do is, this is not the fun part, but it has to be done. I'm gonna go ahead and just basically take everything out and dump all of this gravel on the bottom that my mom um, had did 14 months ago. And I'm gonna try to save the succulents without damaging them. I do have a trash can here and I'm just gonna try to work as efficiently as I can. I mean, there's some planters that doesn't even have a succulent because it died a long time ago. So it definitely needs to be emptied out. And then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go outside and rinse all of these out after it is emptied out so I can start with a nice, fresh, clean jar here. So my mom still wants to keep it in here. Um, I don't think it's a good idea because with the condition of the restaurant being really hot and uh, it does get a lot of moisture so in this type of situation with the succulent being in um, a container like glass with no drainage you have to be really mindful when it comes to watering them um, so that you won't end up getting any built grow up on the bottom which you do see in all of these planters but i'm gonna make the most of the situation here and i'm just gonna empty them out really quickly this is a really fun project for me because I'm very passionate about our restaurant um, and then I'm also passionate about the plants. So I know when my mom did this 14 months ago, I was in Santa Monica. She didn't wait for me and she did these, um, which is fine. But now I want to go ahead and just revamp the look because it's way overdue. If you take a look, I mean, most of the planters are empty. The plants have died. And it's a combination of probably people working in the restaurant watering it and just the living environment and the type of vessel that it's in. So I'm probably end up going to, I'm probably gonna end up getting like a spoon or something to go ahead and loosen up the ends. And I'm gonna try to save what I can and the rest is just gonna have to get chucked, which is unfortunate. So um I'm really excited to get this project done. My plan is to get this back in the restaurant today 
when it's a new look and then any of the succulents that i do have that are still in decent shape will stay probably here at my mom's in a, like a new situation so as you can see say for instance look at this overgrown and then all of that built in here i'm gonna have to scrub it out but there's roots in here but definitely this type of succulent is not good for this type of base um and you'll see with my little haul all of the things that i got are in like really short type of growth nothing like that's going to be peeking out like this reaching for sun um so they're all really small echeveria um type of shapes so like a rosette shape is what i went for for the new succulents and oh my goodness. here's another one here as you can see i'll have to go ahead and prune them before i put them in its temporary home i probably what i'm going to do is i'm going to reuse the nursery planters that the new babies came in for these ones here look at this colancho it is dead time to figure out what to do with that i'm probably just gonna cut it down and then let it regrow so it is memorial day weekend it is nice and hot outside we do have a patio outside but we uh the backyard of our place is right alongside a very busy street in the southwest area so it would be very hard to like hear me out there and it's really hot so hopefully this improv setup here for my planting um will do fine i have Eddie right below me she's probably wondering like what am i doing here's another one looking very sad here they'll probably just end up living in the kitchen here Again, look at all of this growth buildup. I'm going to have to go ahead and scrub this out. So we'll see. My mom doesn't want to switch out the vessels to something else. I wanted something breathable with the drainage hole perhaps. And then the basket that I first did for the restaurant a year ago, I brought it back. And when I have it outside, I think what I'm going to do is I'll be back in a couple of days. I'm just going to go home for three days to work in Los Angeles and I'm coming back for work out here. I think I'm going to bring back a bunch of my jade cuttings that I've been growing. If you checked out my plant tour, I have like a, a little section next to my potting bench that has like my rescues and my cuttings that I'm trying to grow. Um, I think I'm just going to get some from that section and put it into that basket. But not very smart to have this in here because now i'm having a hard time to get it out it's way overgrown and anytime you do pieces like this like an arrangement with succulents they're good in this environment for a couple months and then it needs to be switched out into something else they get overgrown they get leggy they die and um so this is way past its time but basically what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to fish it out here without making a mess and trying to save what I can and then go from there. So all this needs to get chucked out. So moving right along, let's see what else we got. Another one that looks really, really bad. So I'm going to shake it out without damaging them. them out of this vessel which it's so hard to get them out yikes a lot of fallouts here I'm trying to wiggle them out without damaging them oh my goodness here it is so i have just my nursery liner on this table because i know i'm going to be making a mess this is just stuck in here Again, look at this, looks awful. So these are just living on the restaurant dining tables where everybody's sitting and eating. Let's see what else I can save from this one here. I'm just gonna make it really simple, guys. I'm gonna put one succulent in each vase and call it a day. Another one emptied out. I'm gonna dump this out. There's another one. I'm gonna 
have to scrub out. I do not know how long it's going to take me to scrub these guys out, but they are not looking nice. Here's the elephant's food. Not looking good. I don't know. We'll see. I might water propagate that. Questionable. I'm going to have to find something to scrub these out. They don't look very good. Here's another one. Mm. We'll see how much I can get done. I'll have to be at work for another couple hours, but I am meeting Kira for lunch after this, and I am hungry. Oh my goodness, this guy's just falling apart. All right. Let's see if I can save this. All this needs to be chopped. The sand and all of that is just not good. Okay, guys, we're almost there. And then I'm going to have to take these outside and scrub them out. Um, but these are all glass jars, so we'll see how long it takes me to scrub everything out. We got a few more here. Let me take care of this one here. Okay. You know, if any of these are worth saving, I'll take a look at them after I do these projects. Here's another one. Look at this. This looks awful. So, time to go. It wasn't even really rooted in there. Okay. Almost there, guys. There's a Cressula looking crazy. Gosh. Let's see if there's a baby in here, a small little baby. as I can. Yikes. Last one here. So all of the vessels are emptied out. They look really gross and disgusting. I'm going to go ahead and find a hose outside to empty all these vessels out, clean them out, and get them as much as possible clean for the new succulents to go inside. So wish me luck. I have at least 20-something glass jars. Right, so I'm outside of our house here. It's the only water hose I could find. Um, so this is what the vessel looks like after it's emptied out so there's tons of ugly growth in here and i'm basically scrubbing it all by hand and this is what they look like so this took me about an hour to wash i do have a few more um, i don't know if i'm going to clean these because i think this is more than enough and i'm going to bring them inside and then finish the project the current condition of all of the succulents that i pulled out um, there is some interesting stuff happening here. I'll go through all of these and see what I can save um, after I'm done filling up the project vessels with the new babies. But I'm going to go ahead and just take this whole plastic liner off and then put a new one on and then work on the new So product. this is the soil that I'm using. It's the black gold cactus mix for succulents and cactus. And then this is everything that I got for today's project. These two is probably going to keep for me, um, but these here are what I ended up getting. Uh, so I got things that were like in a rosette shape. And I bought out all of the Simper Vibram Black. 
and these are going to be really good for the short glass jars i didn't want to get anything that's going to get really leggy and try to grow out and then i also got this echeveria clara so you know in the rosette shape that's the kind of look that i was going for when i went plant shopping and i'm gonna go ahead fill up all of the glass short jars with dirt here and then i'm gonna place these babies in here and then go for okay it. guys so i'm going to stand up and finish this project so as you can see all of the glass jars are really clean it took me an hour to scrub everything out um, with a sponge and dishwashing soap to get them like this uh, so that was a really big project i have all of the succulents here that i ended up picking up so most of them are in that rosette shape i bought out all of the super vibe blacks and i really like this because this is really hardy and i got a bunch of different echeverias here and then we'll see i ended up getting these two and i might want to keep them for me here in las vegas um, but these ones i definitely want to fill up in these short glasses so i'm just gonna go ahead and just work my magic here as quickly as possible because i'm hungry kira is waiting for me and i want to eat lunch so I have my soil here, and in the most productive way, I'm going to get this project done. And Ebby's been really patient here. I'm going to do this. I have my spoon here because I don't have any of my tools here, but I think what I'm going to do is fill the bottom up. I'm going to use these planters to scoop the dirt into the jars here so what I do is I squeeze them like this to loosen it up and then shimmy it and then cupcake it in my hand here so it looks like that and then what I'm going to do is use this to scoop the dirt into my planter here so let's see how this goes I think what I'm going to do is Create a little hole here at the bottom. Stick this in here. Obviously, give it a little squeeze here to loosen up the roots. And then I'm going to try my best to. Do want to fill all of this up with dirt so mm -hmm. it's gonna be tough because it really does fill everything up here what am i gonna do hmm. let me get this on the edges here i think that's what i'm gonna do fill up the edges with it I have a feeling this is going to take me a while, but I'm going to do that. And then maybe just shimmy it like this to get the dirt around it. What do you guys think? Then I'm going to get the end of my spoon here to get this nice and deep into the planter here. I'm going to use this method to get it nice and deep in this jar as much as possible. Obviously, I would love to put more dirt around the edges here, but I think this is going to be it for now. Actually, this looks pretty good. So this is what it's going to look like here. And I think that looks better already than what it was. I'm going to leave that here. So that looks good. I'm going to do the same thing here. Create a little space here on the edges. Make a little hole here, press the soil against the edges of the jar. And these planters, guys, I'm going to use for the plant babies that I took out. And I'll probably just end up making them into cuttings because they look really crazy. So I'm going to place them in here. I'm going to edge the end of my spoon right along the edge of the succulent here to get it nice and deep as possible in this planter. And then it should be fine. 
because I'm going to shimmy it like this to get the soil nice and surrounding areas here. I wish you luck because this plant is pretty tricky, this jar here. But what do you guys think? I mean, it looks 100 times better than what it was. And I think I'm just going to try to get it down a little bit deeper in here. But I thought Echeveria or the rosette type shape is going to be the best type of succulent for the restaurant. Nothing that's going to grow leggy and reach out of the jars here. So what do you guys think? Here it is. Two down. Let's see how much I can get done here. So here's our next one here. And then stick that in there. Give it a nice little shimmy here. And then use the end of my spoon to get it as deep as I can in this glass jar so that it can find its new home without floating on the top of the soil. So this is going to be my improv technique for this particular project. You can also use the end of the chopstick. I do that a lot or the end of my toothbrush. But I think that looks good and it's nice and grounded. Give it one last shake here. So it settles in its new home and that is going to be the new look. All right, we're moving along fast guys. Putting two scoops here of soil including that little extra soil that's in this little planter here. I'm going to be really interested to see how many plants end up surviving from what I just took out of these jars here. So again, I loosen up the succulent roots here, creating a little hole for it to go in, and then wedge this in with the end of my spoon here. So this is a little smaller than the one I just planted. So let's go ahead and add a little bit more soil. I'm trying to get this done in the least amount of time possible. I am heading back to Santa Monica tomorrow night for three nights and then I'll be back here for the work weekend. Okay guys, I think this looks good enough for me. Here it is. What do you think? So we already have four. Here they are. I will be doing updates on these babies here. Um, for this particular type of living environment for this succulent i definitely say like mist once a week and i would water this three times a month um, because of the type of vessel that it's in with no drainage hole and just being in a hot restaurant um you don't want to over water it I mean, you're gonna get a lot of well you've seen what the old vessels look like a lot of ugly growth in there so here it is number four that looks really good so we have 13 tables not including the bar and the back booth so we'll see where these guys end up going i'm trying to not use the big bases as much as possible these ones are a little bit harder to work with okay let me know down in the comments below if you like styling plants uh, where you work at or if you have a business and you like bringing them into your business. Um, our pizza shop doesn't have any plants in there because um, just the type of place it is. It's a pizza shop. Uh, there's a lot of action going on there, a lot of deliveries. And just the type of place that it is, it's really hot in there. So there's no plants at our pizza shop. But... In our restaurant, um, we definitely have these guys in here. This type of succulent is on the hardier side, so it can take a little bit more beating uh, compared to something that is a little bit more fragile. So here's another one. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six of them here. So this is how I'm spending my Memorial Day weekend because I worked every night in Las Vegas, but that's fine. I went to church this morning, stopped by the restaurant to grab this. Get some content from my channel so i'm gonna put these echeveria clara um, and the other two and the rest are just gonna be the black simper viroms 
I could actually go to another location to get more of these. These are a lot more hardier and um, friendlier, easier. Surprise, we're working pretty quickly. I have the other tall glass jars outside drying in the sun. So let's see what happens here. All right. Here is number eight. And then the last two is going to go for the Echeveria Clara. Now this one, you don't want to touch too much because you'll leave an imprint on your face. I don't want to damage anybody. I see a rock stuck in a hard place. All right. Okay. So this looks pretty good. I'm going to give it one nice shimmy and it'll stay in here. So here is that. We'll see how that does. Okay. So this is what it looks like right here. So that takes care of the eight short jars. I'm going to go ahead and grab a few more here um, and see what I can do. But so far, I'm loving what it looks so like. So I have seven of these nice and clean. I do have four more outside that I could clean up if I need them. But for now, I'm gonna work with these. So I went ahead and I put the shorter jars with the succulents out in the sun so they can get some sun before they go back in the restaurant. I have these seven cleaned out. There's four more that isn't clean that I could clean if I need be. But I'm gonna see how I wanna style them. And these are, I have a few left here. So I wanna go ahead and see if I could just put one single one in there sometimes you know, less is more. You do not want to crowd up, especially like in a tall type of jar base like this. It's just better maybe with just one. Now, if it wasn't like a vase, then I'd probably end up just putting them in maybe, you know, a group of two if it was in a bigger open space. But let me go ahead and see how many scoops of dirt would look good in here. I think two looks really simple and nice without getting the dirt here. And then, let's see here. So I have this guy here. Let's see how he does. Squeeze off the edges here. And then I'm going to stick my hand in here, drop him in there, and then Create a little hole for him to live in and then pat down the dirt. But I think I'm just going to leave it like this, guys. Like, one is really simple and nice. And it just showcases the beauty of just that one. If you see my collection in Santa Monica, they are all individually potted. I used to do gardens a lot and then my style switch. I think I'm going to do that. What do you guys think? Then at the end, I'm going to go ahead and just wipe them down in the inside uh, to clear out the dirt from the glass. But I think I'm gonna do this and it looks super simple and so cute. So that is going to be just like that. So two scoops works. Luckily my hand can fit in here. If not, I would have to do a terrarium style type of thing here where I have to use a long chopstick tool. Of course, I have to transport this back to the restaurant, so I have to drive very careful. But I think that's going to be it here. Just one simple guy in here. I think it's perfect. Okay. That's fine. Moving along with another one here. This one is really fragile. One already just fell off, so be very careful. It is a little warm up in here. I think because I feel pressured out to get this done. The restaurant is still open, so I may end up going to the restaurant while they're still open and placing this in there with people eating. If you guys are ever in Las Vegas, please come down to our restaurants. You never know, I might just be there. Cool. Okay, that 
that looks pretty good, guys. Try to get rosette type of succulents so they don't get leggy growing out of the base here. I think that's going to be it for this guy. Okay, guys, I am slowly moving, but there's progress here. And obviously, I could put two in one. Um, I'll try on this next one to see how I like it, but I think one simple one looks really nice and elegant, so that might just be the aesthetic I'm going for. Okay. That one took a while, but it's in there. Okay, moving along, I got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, I may have to go and clean those jars out there. So I washed the last four outside. Um, I didn't have time to have it air dry like the rest. So I'm just wiping it down. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill out the rest. I have my two that I might want to go ahead and plant up for the house here. But for the most part, um, I am going to finish this out and then take it back to the restaurant. So I have one here. The rest are outside in the sun. And I'm going to do this as quick as I can. Let me know what you guys think about the way how I design these with just one simple succulent. I think it's better for the restaurant. The jar is on the wet side inside, so the dirt is sticking to the edges. But I'm just going to leave it as that, guys. This is what it's going to look like right here. I'll clean up the insides, I think, after I transport it. So let's get this guy in here. And I'm going to use this. Here in the bottom. And I did take a look at the condition of the succulents that I pulled out and they don't look good. I'm probably just gonna cut them. Um, and just make cuttings out of them. And I was thinking like if I should have gone to the other locations to get more black super vibrams, but they could all just be that. Because I feel like that's really low maintenance when it comes to succulents. But it's fine. I'm just gonna see how these guys do in here and if anything i can always go back and switch them out and these guys can come back to the house and live here since on the lady side i'm just gonna leave it like this that. all right there's a little baby on here i'm gonna try to not damage it oh my goodness the soil is making me want to sneeze for getting this project done it was a lot of so hard work. i went ahead and i placed all of the plant babies for the restaurant outside so they get some sun um, i am going to go ahead and put the two that i got for myself uh, which is some interesting type of succulents here this is a simpervivum red heart and this almost to me looks like a sunrise succulent has that jewel vibe going on um, that i have in my collection in santa monica there's little hairs in here too but I have these bird planters that I got from the 99 cent store a couple weeks ago and I'm just going to place them in here and they're going to live um, here, probably in my room or if not downstairs here in the kitchen. But I thought it'd be fun to get two extra ones for the plant collection here at the house. And I've been wanting to fill this up for a while. I'm going to be using these little planters that are emptied out now for the cuttings that I will make from this project that I emptied out from its original situation. It needed to go, it was time. So I think this looks so adorable. What do you guys think? I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the edges here with soil. Let's go ahead and get that nice and wedged in. Done. this is just a little treat couldn't go to get plant babies for the restaurant and not for the house for this collection I don't know when was the last time I got something for this plant collection in Las Vegas anyway it's fine I'm surprised there wasn't really any there was no sales everything I got today was regular price which is pretty sad considering it's Memorial Day weekend and I thought I was gonna get things on sale 
my goodness, this looks so adorable, guys. I'm going to use my finger to wedge it nice and deep in this bird planter here. Oh, my goodness. I think my mom's going to love this. So cute. So here is the finish look. What do you guys think? So cute, huh? So this is going to stay in the house here. Let's see what we can do with it. Loosen up the edges here. I love how there's like little fuzzies on them. And then holding it in place with my finger and then getting the edges nice and compact here. So what I'm going to do is I think I am going to take these down to the restaurant since they are done. And then the cuttings, I'm just going to deal with tomorrow. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to worry about the plant babies that um, I'm going to do cuttings with that was in the original vessels for the restaurant. I'm going to do that tomorrow. I'm going to take this back to the restaurant and wrap it up here. But this looks so adorable, guys. I'm glad that I saved these two for here. The soil is making me sneeze. All right, so I think that looks great. What do you guys think? Here they are. I think they look absolutely cute and I will be placing them here in the kitchen. I just kitchen. wanted to do a quick little overview of what they look like. They are just chilling outside in front of the house here. I'm going to load them up in my car, meet Kira for lunch, and then drop this off at the restaurant and I'll end the video there. What do you guys think? Hi, we are back at the restaurant. It is closed up. All of our patio chairs and furniture is inside and place the new babies in their new homes and uh, wish them Guys, so I'm back here at the restaurant. The restaurant is closed for the day. I have all of the new plant babies here. So I'm going to go ahead and place them back onto the bar right behind me and onto the floor. So that is going to wrap up this Memorial Day weekend project for our restaurant. Two things I'm very passionate about are restaurant and plants. So I think that was a really fun project for today. If you guys enjoyed watching me retransform our little plant arrangements here for the restaurant, let me know down in the comments below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this very fun Planting with Julian episode featuring our restaurant here in Las Vegas. If you guys are ever in Las Vegas, please come by, support our restaurant at 3655 South Durango Drive. We are open Monday through Sunday. That's right, guys. Every day of the year from 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. We serve breakfast and lunch all day and I love to see you guys in here. You can find more of my blog at ellajulian.blogspot.com. Definitely thumbs up the video, subscribe to my channel for more plant related videos and I'll see you guys on the next one. Aloha from the Ninth Island. Bye!